YAML made it simple. P-value with hypothesis testing, the intuition behind. Let's take the code room example. This example is inspired by the Code Emporium YouTube's channel's hypothesis testing example. Defendant is innocent until there is an enough evidence to prove he is guilty. As the evidence comes in, the fingerprint, the knife, the DNA sample against him, the possibility of him being innocent decreases. He is finally declared guilty. If you understood the story, you have understood the concept behind p-value and hypothesis testing. Let's recollect our example by introducing some technical terms. Initial assumption is called null hypothesis. The initial assumption here is the defendant is innocent. Alternative hypothesis is the desired outcome. The alternative hypothesis here is defendant is guilty. The p-value decreases as the possibility of null hypothesis happening decreases. The p-value ranges from 0 to 1. When the defendant is innocent, the p-value starts at 1. As the evidence comes in against him, the p-value decreases to 0 0.85, 0 0.75, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and when it reaches the point where there is more evidence against him than being innocent, then we can reject the possibility of him being innocent. That is, we can reject the null hypothesis. That does not mean we can accept the alternative hypothesis. Since we have seen cases in history that are proven to be innocent even after 10 years, so if the p-value is really low, we have high confidence of rejecting him as being innocent. In the statistics world, 0 0.05 is considered a threshold to reject null hypothesis for two-tailed test. Let's discuss that in another video. That's the intuition behind p-value. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please subscribe and please leave comments.